Welcome to SOLIDWORKS Education Analyzing a Spindle Upright Under Torsion. My name is Marie Planchard and I'm Director of Worldwide Education Markets and Curriculum Development for DS SOLIDWORKS Corp. I hid my car body and I'll right click on the frame, select Hide Component. I want to search for my spindle. Enter spindle in the go to box. The spindle is part of an assembly. As I drag my mouse pointer along different components in the assembly, they highlight in the graphics window. Right click on the assembly and click open. From this sub assembly, I can see the spindle and the upright. The brake applies a torsion to the upright, and this is an area of concern. Utilize SolidWorks simulation to analyze my upright. Select on tools, add ins, check. SOLIDWORKS Simulation. SOLIDWORKS Simulation is contained in the SOLIDWORKS Student Edition and the SOLIDWORKS Education Edition. Click OK. If you used Cosmos Works in 2008, the name has been changed to SOLIDWORKS Simulation. There are many new tutorials and the Simulation Advisor. Take a look at these when you get a chance. Review the tutorials as to new elements in SOLIDWORKS Simulation, including shell elements and a combination of using sheet metal and solid components. To create a new study, expand the Study tab, click New Study. I'm going to enter the name Baseline as my study name. You can do static, frequency, and a variety of other analyses. Nonlinear and composite material studies are only available in the SOLIDWORKS Education Edition. Right-click on Fixtures. Select the center circular face. Select the other circular faces to remain fixed. These represent where bolts actually fasten the upright to a fixed member. If you cannot find specific geometry, right click and select other. Small green tick marks are placed on the fixed faces. Right click and select forces. I'm going to apply a torque. Select the two cylindrical faces to apply torque. You can check the flip direction arrow if required. Enter a value for torque and in the units whether SI or in IPS units as required. You also require a cylindrical face or axes or temporary axes to apply the torque about. If you do not have a cylindrical face or temporary axes, create one under reference geometry. The next step is to mesh and run the analysis. I'm going to use the default mesh parameters and click Mesh and Run. Click No to the message to analyze for small displacements. I can get information in my results folder, whether dealing with stress, strain, or displacement. Once a baseline study has been established, I can then insert other parameters or modify geometry. Each study is presented in a tab at the bottom of the graphics window. You can divide the feature manager to contain both the assembly or part features and the study information in SOLIDWORKS Simulation. Information from the first study is translated over to additional studies. If you want to change parameters, right click and edit. Material applied in SOLIDWORKS is translated over to SOLIDWORKS Simulation. You can also set material inside of SOLIDWORKS Simulation. If material is not selected, the mesh will not run. In this case, I won't change any of my fixed geometry, but I do want to change the value for my torque. Click OK after editing values. When values are changed, you are still required to mesh and run. Review the results. Almost 20,000 equations were used to calculate these results. I created another study to reverse the torque direction and see the results. Please review the four Welcome to SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2009 videos. These are very helpful, especially if you have used other analysis tools. Also, the study advisor that is available under Study ask key questions that you will need to know before you begin your analysis. When I was in graduate school, I had a wait to take finite element analysis courses. But if you have the math requirements, it's a good idea to try to do a FEA class in your undergraduate education.
Models and images are courtesy of the University of Manitoba Polar Bear Racing. Thank you from the SolidWorks education team.